Have you ever wondered why some companies dish out dividends while others keep their coffers sealed tight? Let's unravel this financial enigma and dive into the fascinating world of dividend payments. Answering question one. Why do companies pay dividends? Picture this, you're walking through a bustling marketplace, eyeing various stalls. Some vendors offer free samples while others don't. Similarly, companies choose whether to offer dividends as a way to entice investors. Dividends serve as a beacon of financial stability, signaling to potential investors that a company is not only profitable but also confident in its ability to sustainably generate profits in the future. This allure attracts both current and prospective shareholders, boosting confidence and potentially inflating stock prices. However, not all companies play the dividend game. Take tech giants like Amazon and Alphabet, for instance. Despite their massive success, they've chosen to reinvest profits rather than share them with investors. Instead, they opt to fuel growth and innovation, preferring to bet on their own potential rather than appease dividend-hungry shareholders. Answering question two, how do companies decide what dividends to pay? Ever wondered who holds the reins when it comes to dividend decisions? Meet the board of directors, the decision makers behind the dividend curtain. These folks weigh various factors, from the company's financial health and earnings to its industry trends and growth objectives. Essentially, they're tasked with finding the sweet spot balancing rewarding shareholders while ensuring the company retains enough cash to fuel its operations and growth initiatives. It's akin to orchestrating a delicate dance between generosity and pragmatism. If a company's profits are booming and it's sitting on a mountain of cash, the board might be more inclined to boost dividend payments. Conversely, during lean times or when eyeing ambitious expansion plans, they might tighten the purse strings to conserve cash for future endeavors.